In this video, we're going to learn how to make a word guessing game in Python that plays similar to the game Hangman. So in the game Hangman, you're given a word to guess. And initially, all you're given is the blank spaces where a letter should be. So this here would be a word that has five letters. And the player will have some limited number of attempts to correctly guess which letters are in the word. So initially, the player might have seven attempts to correctly guess which letters are in the word. And let's say the player initially guesses that Y is in the word. If Y is in the word, the status of the word will be updated to show where Y occurs in the word. So let's say Y occurs here in the word. Then let's say the player guesses that Q is in the word, but Q is not in the word. In that case, they'll lose one of their attempts. Now, if they reach zero attempts, they lose the game. But let's say that instead, the player keeps correctly guessing which letters are in the word. So for example, next they guess that S is in the word and S is in the word here. Then they guess that U is in the word and U is in the word here. Then they guess that P is in the word and P is in the word here. And then finally, they guess that R is in the word and R is in the word here. At this point, they've solved the problem. They have the word SERP and they win the game. Let's implement this game in Python. So the first thing we'll do is create a function which returns a random word. Because we're going to be using randomization, we're going to import the random module. So here we'll have import random to import the random module. We'll call the function itself choose underscore word, and the function is going to return a word chosen at random from a list of potential words. So our list of potential words is going to be made up of, let's say Python and coding, and let's say portfolio, and we'll have courses, and then we'll have, let's say a couple more words. We'll have programming and code and data and visual studio. And so now we have enough words and our potential list of words. Now we could make this much bigger, we could even read words from a file to make it configurable, but we'll stick with this for now. And what we'll do is return a randomly chosen word from this list. To do this, we can use the choice function in the random module. So we'll have return random.choice and we'll pass the list of words to the choice function. This function is going to randomly return a string from that list. We could then test this function out. So down here, we'll call choose word and we'll output the string that's returned from this function with print the return value of choose underscore word. If we save this and try our program out, we'll get here the word visual. We'll try it again. We get Python. Try it again. We get code. So now we can randomly select a word for our game. Next, let's make a function which returns the string representation of the status of the word to be guessed. So for example, if the word to be guessed was, let's say syrup, and the player guessed, let's say R and U correctly, the status of the word should look something like this, where we have these underscore characters to represent letters that have yet to be guessed, and we have R and U, which have been guessed correctly. We'll call this function word status, and the function will accept as arguments the word to be guessed and a list of the correctly guessed letters. We'll call that parameter guessed underscore letters. And we'll build the string, we'll call it display, and initially it's going to be an empty string. And what we'll do is concatenate on either an underscore character or the correctly guessed letter. So we'll have here for each letter in the word to be guessed. If that letter is in the list of guessed letters, then we'll concatenate that letter to display with display plus equals that letter. Otherwise, we'll have else and we'll concatenate the underscore character to display because this letter has yet to be guessed because it's not in the guessed letters list. Then when we're all done, we're going to return this string display. So let's test out this function. Down here, we'll call the word status function and we'll output the return string using print. And we'll pass it, let's say the string Python, and let's say our list of correctly guessed letters are Y, 
and let's say H. So if we save this program and try it out, we get here underscore Y underscore H underscore underscore. And that is the correct representation of the word to be guessed given the letters that have been correctly guessed so far. Next, let's make a function to play the game. We'll call this function word guessing game. And this function has no parameters. And the first thing we'll do is find the word to be guessed. We'll call this word the secret word with secret underscore word is equal to and we'll call the choose word function to randomly select that word. Then we'll keep track of the letters that have been guessed correctly so far with the variable guest underscore letters. And initially this is going to be an empty list because no letters have been guessed correctly so far. We'll keep track of the attempts the player has remaining to correctly guess a letter with the variable attempts. And we'll initially give them, let's say seven attempts to correctly guess a letter. Then we'll output that they are playing the word guessing game with print and we'll have word guessing game. Then we'll output a row of stars with print and we'll just have a simple row of stars here. Then we'll output the status of the word to be guessed, which initially is going to be all underscore characters but that will at least tell the player how many letters are in the word total. So we'll have here print and we'll have secret word colon, and then we'll call the word status function and we'll pass it the secret word as well as the now empty list of guest letters. Then let's call this function so we can test how our game works so far. So down here, we'll call the word guessing game function. And if we save our program and try it out here, we'll get word guessing game and secret word. And then we get the underscores there. We'll try it again. And we can see by the number of underscores, it's a different secret word. So our game is working so far. Next, we'll make a loop, which allows the player to continue making guesses. So long as they still have attempts remaining. So we'll have while attempts is still greater than zero the player can continue to make guesses. We'll use the input function to accept their guess. We'll have guess is equal to, and we'll call input and we'll pass it the string guess a letter colon to prompt them to enter the letter. The input function is going to return the string the user enters. We'll call the lower method on the string to return the string with any letters in the string made lowercase. We'll do this to standardize the case of the letters so that we compare a lowercase letter to lowercase letters in our words, rather than having a mixture of uppercase letters and lowercase letters. Now we'll store that letter into the variable guess, but the input function allows the user to enter in more than just one character. So they could enter in multiple characters. They could also enter in characters that are not letters. We'll check for that. We'll have here, if the length of the guest string doesn't equal one, then they didn't enter in one character. Or not guess dot is alpha is true. So the is alpha method is only going to return true if all the characters in the guest string are letters. So here we're saying if the length of the guest string is not one, or if all the characters in the string are not letters, then we have invalid input because we need one letter. In that case, we'll output here, you must enter a single letter. You must enter a single letter using print. And what we'll do is use continue. So here, if they enter in something that's not a letter or they enter in more than one character, we're going to output this error message to make sure next time they only enter in a single letter. And what continue does is continue skips the remainder of the loop body and brings execution back to the loop condition here. So this is going to skip over the remainder of the loop body. Next, we'll also make sure the letter they've guessed is not already in the list of guess letters because they can't guess the same letter twice. So off here, if the guess letter is already in the guess letters list, then we'll also output an error message. 
we'll say print and we'll have you already guessed that letter. And again, we'll use continue to skip over the remainder of the loop body. Now, if a new single letter was entered, we'll append that new guest letter to the guest letters list with guest underscore letters dot append the guess. Then we'll check if the guess is not in the secret word or if it is in the secret word. So we'll have if guess is not in the secret word. So in this case, they'll have lost an attempt. So we'll have attempts minus equal one to recognize this. Then we'll output the letter does not occur in the word. So we'll say print and we'll have with an F string here, no letter. And then the guest letter occurs in the word. And we'll output the number of attempts the player has remaining. So we'll have print and again, we'll have an F string and we'll have you have this number of attempts remaining. Now, if the letter is in the word, then we'll count the number of occurrences of that letter using the count method. So we'll have here secret underscore word dot count and we'll pass guess. This is going to return the number of times the letter guess occurs in that word. And we'll store that into a variable called occurrences. And we'll output that to the player. We'll have print and we'll say with an F string here, letter guess occurs occurrences times. So we'll tell them how many times that letter does occur in the word. Next, we can output the new current status of the word. So we'll have current underscore status is equal to, and we'll call the word status function and we'll pass it the secret word as well as the new guest letters list. This will give us the current status of the word to be guessed. And we can then output that with print and we'll have secret word colon and we'll output that new current status with current underscore status. Now, if there are no underscore characters remaining in that current status of the word, that means the player has guessed every letter in the word and they've won the game. So at that point, we're going to stop the game. So of here, if the underscore character is not in the current status of the word to be guessed, then we'll output here, congratulations, you guessed the word because they've won the game. Then we'll use break, where break is going to stop this loop entirely because we now want to finish the game. Now, if the loop finishes its execution because the player ran out of attempts, we'll check to see if the current status of the word does contain an underscore character. If that's the case, that means the player did not successfully guess all the letters in the word. And in that case, we'll output a bit of a failure message. We'll have if underscore is in the current status of the word, then we'll output using an F string, you ran out of attempts and we'll tell them the word. So we'll say you ran out of attempts and we'll say the word was, and we'll output the secret word here. And then I'll just fix one small bug up here. I should have a comma after courses here. So now if I save the program and we test it out, we have this secret word here. I'll try to guess the letter P and we do have that P occurs one time. Then I'll try M and we get that M occurs two times. Now I'll try to enter in something bad like 12, which is not a letter. I'll enter in just five and we also get an error message. I'll try to enter in a letter that we've already entered. Like for example, M and I get, you already guessed that letter. Now I'll try to guess a incorrect letter like Q and we get here. You have six attempts remaining. If I put in letters that don't make sense, like T B C and maybe W and maybe T and L here, 
eventually I'm going to run out of attempts. So I'll try Z. Now it says you ran out of attempts. The word was programming. So it does appear to be working. We'll try to win the game now. We'll run it again. We'll enter in, let's say P and R and let's say O, T, F, L, and I, and we do win the game. So this is how we can build a word guessing game that's similar to Hangman in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.